What's up guys, today I just wanted to do a quick comparison video. Um, I wanted to compare uh, these three gun belts, kind of go over um, the pros and cons, what I like and don't like about each one. Um, here we have the Blue Alpha Low Profile EDC belt, the Ares Gear Aegis Enhanced belt, and Tenacore's uh, New Zero belt. Um, if you do carry a gun on your belt, um, I would highly suggest that you invest in a good gun belt. If you're using a $20 Walmart special, it's going to stretch, sag, and fold on you. It will affect the comfort and concealability level. So I highly suggest that you get a gun belt if you're carrying a gun on your belt. Um, let me share my experience when I first started carrying. Um, I bought into the idea that I needed to run out and buy the thickest, stiffest gun belt um, I could find, which in the end um, proved to be a mistake, honestly. Um, most people carry a compact size handgun or smaller. They usually have one or two spare magazines on their belt. Um, and these low profile belts will provide plenty of stiffness and rigidity um, for that type of loadout. Now, if you have a 10, 12 pound loadout that you carry every day, then you're probably gonna wanna go with something like an Aries gear. Um, but it's just not true that you need a metal band wrapped around your waist. Um, you know, I carried this for a year and a half and finally I started testing out new belts because after, you know, 10, 12 hours of wearing this belt, it would start cutting into my hip bone, um, and becoming uncomfortable just because of the rigidity of it. Um, so let's get started. We're going to compare a few metrics, um, and I'll go over from my my least favorite to my favorite. So let's start out with comfort. Okay, let's move these guys. Um, the Air, the uh, Aries gear is the least comfortable belt on the table for me. Um, like I said, um, the reason is, is not even the thickness as much as the stiffness. If you guys can see that, I mean, that's just, I mean, it's built like a tank. This thing is ridiculous. There's no way I can get any kind of give uh, as far as lateral um, stability goes. I mean, this thing is just so thick and so stiff. And like I said, I ended up trying, buying and trying out other gun belts because I found that it's so rigid that after 10, 12 hours of carry, it would start to kind of cut into my hip. It, it also creates that hula hoop effect. Any really stiff gun belt um, creates kind of this hula hoop effect around your waist. And um, it it's kind of annoying. Um, so... Now, the next one is the Blue Alpha gear. This one's very comfortable. I can wear this for 12, 14 hours a day, never cuts into my hip. Um, very comfortable belt. Um, as you can see, it has a lot more give and it's a lot thinner than the Aries gear, um, but it's got plenty of rigidity to provide a solid foundation for your carry setup. Uh, next, this is, is the most comfortable belt of the three for me. That's Tenacore Zero belt. Um, as you can see, it's very soft and, and pliable this way, but it has good lateral stiffness this way. Um, so I find I carry a Glock 48 with a spare magazine every day. This provides plenty of, of stiffness and rigidity. Um, I dry fire practice in all three of these belts. And to tell you the truth, I really can't tell uh, a difference when I dry fire between the three, when we're talking stiffness, right? When we're talking, um, does the rigidity make a difference during dry fire practice? I really haven't found a big difference. Yes, obviously this is a little more solid platform, um, but in practice, uh, I don't find it makes a difference, um, only in comfort and concealability. Okay, so let's move on to rigidity. Obviously, um, I already kind of covered that. The Aries gear is the stiffest, most rigid belt on this table. I mean, look how thick that thing is. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. Um, I just... Uh, it, it's overkill for most people, in my opinion. I really like the belt. It's high quality. I wore it for almost two years. As you can see, it's like brand new. Um, but I, for, for my personal taste, it was just overkill. 
okay? Um, now, Blue Alpha Gear, their low-profile belt, it is a little bit stiffer and a little bit harder um, than the Tenacore Zero belt, okay? Um, but this soft, softer, slightly more pliable nylon webbing is what makes it the most comfortable belt. Um, so we always have trade-offs in life, right? And for me, one of the trade-offs is the stiffer the belt I find, uh, it tends to be less comfortable um, for me. So um, just keep that in mind. As far as concealability, um, obviously, um, my tactical seat belt is what I call it, is the least concealable, um, partly because of this extremely thick metal buckle here. Um, but also the belt is like, it's not two layers of nylon, it's two layers of nylon plus like this facing material. And so you basically have a gun belt that's two and a half times thick. Um, if you wear tighter, more form-fitting shirts, this buckle will print so just be aware of that. Not the most concealable gun belt. Next is the Blue Alpha gear, very low profile. When you cinch this down, okay, very low profile, uh, great concealability. This I would have to say is probably the most concealable just because it is the thinnest. Um, I will show you here for a comparison. It's even slightly thinner than the Blue Alpha gear, if you can see that. It's even a little thinner than the Blue Alpha gear. And like I said in my review on the Tenacore Zero Belt, um, Tenacore refers to it as a one and a half times thickness. Um, so it is slightly, slightly thinner. I find that the buckle lays just as flat as on the Blue Alpha. Once you thread this through and cinch it down, um, this buckle lies um, pretty flat. And so I feel that this is the most comfortable and the most concealable. Um, as far as buckles and adjustments go, um, I, I would say that the Aries gear is my least favorite buckle. It's actually the easiest and quickest to make adjustments on. This metal bar pins, basically pins the tail in place and holds the belt on. When you want to adjust it, you just slide the metal bar and then you can make micro adjustments. All of these belts are micro adjustable. I actually won't buy a gun belt that is not, so you'll never see me review a gun belt that is not micro adjustable. Um, but this thing, I mean, the, the, gun, the buckle's a little ridiculous. Um, super quick and easy and convenient to adjust, very quiet and inconspicuous um, to do so, but it's just huge, man. Okay, uh, next, I hate even calling this a buckle. I feel like it insults, it's an insult to buckles um, because really all it is is just a polymer ring or rectangle, um, but it works great. Uh, extremely low profile, uh, easily adjusted. Now the tail end on the Blue Alpha is captured by nylon. Um, and so it's it, it's not inconspicuous or low key to adjust. When you adjust it, you get that tearing noise, okay? Um, one thing I really like about the Velcro on the Blue Alpha is as you can see, it does not come up to the edge of the belt, which is really nice because some gun belts, the Velcro will come all the way up to the edge. And when it does that, the Velcro itself tends to irritate the skin um, along your waistline. So I really like how how they made it smaller than the belt itself. Um, it aids in, in comfort for sure. Um, but yeah, great buckle, very low profile, plenty, you know, it is polymer, but plenty strong for what it's being used for, plenty durable. Uh, my favorite buckle um, is actually Tenacore's new Zero buckle. As you can see, it's very low profile. Uh, it's made of high quality aluminum. Um, and why I really like it is for the innovative uh, design features. So one, it has a reverse thread right here. And so you just take the tail end and you just thread it over the top and hold on to the buckle as you pull the tail 
and it tightens and adjusts. And then once it's cinched down, this buckle lies flat or real close to flat and the reverse thread bites down onto the belt, not allowing it to slip. Like I said in my other video, um, I was a little concerned about slippage after looking at the design, but I've had absolutely no slippage over the last four months. Um, it's rock solid. I watched another video of a guy hang 120 pounds off of it um, and it didn't slip at all. So you can trust in this buckle. It will secure it. Um, my other favorite feature about this buckle is it actually contain the tail is contained under the belt itself. And so there's no Velcro needed. Um, and there's no belt loops, which means it's lower profile, less bulky, um, and it's very, very low key to adjust, very discreet. Um, you don't have uh, the tearing sound. Now, I will say this, this one probably takes the longest to adjust. It's very quick and easy to adjust, but I find it probably does take me a little bit longer to adjust this buckle than the other buckles. Um, the Aries gear is definitely the quickest to adjust, but all three adjust very easily and very quickly. Um, but I just wanted to point out that this one might be just a tad slower than the Blue Alpha as far as adjusting. Um, but it has so many cool features. Now, uh, price-wise, uh, the Tenacore Zero Belt, this one will run you about 60. You can find the Blue Alpha um, for 35.40, and the Aries Gear Aegis is about 120, 130. So this is by far um, the most expensive um, belt. Now, out of these three belts. Um, my favorite one would definitely have to be Tenacore's new Zero Belt. Um, it is my favorite. Um, as you can tell, um, it's my most comfortable belt. It's my most concealable belt. Um, it's my favorite buckle. And so the Tenacore is definitely my favorite. I do reach for the Blue Alpha some days. I rarely wear this unless I'm outdoors hiking or backpacking and I'm carrying a much larger handgun outside the waistband or something. So I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you out. Um, check out my review on the Tenacore Zero Belt. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe for future reviews. Thanks guys.